Alright, welcome back to Peace Walker. In this video, we're going to head Thank for the uh, research lab. Dr. Strangelove's research lab and either deactivate or destroy the AI. The lab's built into some ancient ruins, so find those first. This is a pretty cool area, so this mission's pretty fun. La Ruinas de Xochiquetza will be around there. They have not been restored at all, so they may well be covered in plants. Xochiquetzal? An Aztec goddess of fertility and beauty. They say she was always accompanied by birds and butterflies. One theory states she was the mother of the god known as Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. The Quetzal is said to be an incarnation of Quetzalcoatl, hence its name. I get it. Well... This place definitely matches the atmosphere of a cloud forest. No, it may have seen better days, but that is still a temple. So be sure to show respect when you're inside. If the mood strikes me. Huh. Well, you've got no one to blame but yourself if Shochi Quetzal strikes you down. So if I get smited in the middle of this mission... We all know why. So here we are, we left off pretty much exactly where we were in the last level, which is the helicopter fight. Which is good, I do like how there's a lot of continuity in between the missions. Some scouts are really hard to spot because they use grass or dirt to camouflage themselves. They blend right in with the natural surroundings. As I've been saying for the past couple of videos, this is where the game starts to get kind of more interesting with their enemies. Because as I've said before, the enemies aren't smart. They have a really terrible field of vision. But what they Sniper lack in intelligence, they make up for in numbers and sometimes they're really hard to spot like they are right now like like I said they'll be using ghillie suits they'll be using a lot more interesting areas to hide in so you have to really keep your guard up especially in these areas these areas are chock full of like you know grass areas and other things like that so there's a lot of greens and the enemies most usually are wearing green so that's something to really look out for in these these areas the majority of the jungle areas from here on out are all gonna be pretty difficult to sneak in because they have a lot of enemies and a lot of places most of them are pretty high up so it's pretty hard to sneak through your first time, but you're, if you're a pro like me, you know, you'll be able to do it just fine. Probably not as good as me, though. Freeze. I am, of course, kidding. I don't actually think I'm that good. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not, I'm not amazing. It'll never get tiring to hear the, the POWs be excited to get Fulton. Also, it seems that I've picked the perfect time to do Peace Walker, since, as I said in one of the last videos, Ground Zero's finally got a release date, so that'll be really cool. I'll do that when that comes out. Not immediately, but... We're coming up on a cutscene right now. This, this level's kind of interesting because usually cutscenes end a level, but there's a pretty lengthy cutscene in the middle of this level, which is pretty unique for this game. You don't see that that often. And then there's more gameplay. Again, just gotta really sneak. Gotta know where you're going. Probably not gonna get through this without being seen your first time. You're probably gonna have to redo it at least once. As long as you remember where the enemies are. Also, we are now wearing the sneaking suit. I don't know why I didn't bring this up yet. You get this after you beat the helicopter. The sneaking suit is the greatest thing that has ever happened to this game because you can 
run directly behind enemies and they will not hear you. You can you do not need to sneak up the people anymore to conceal your footsteps. You are perfectly fine running around in an area like a chicken without its head. As long as you don't step in front of someone, you are practically invisible. And that is why I will be using the sneaking suit for pretty much the majority of the game from here on out. And here we have a cutscene. French. Fini de jouer à cache-cache. Dis-moi qui tu es. Please, do not kill me. You know, soldier. I am a tourist. What's your name? Please. What are you doing here? Cecile. Cosima. Cominar. So this is Cecile Cosima Cominades, voiced by Catherine Taber. You might know her voice if you watch Star Wars The Clone Wars, where she played uh, Padme. So there's that. That's like the only thing I know her from. But she does a good job in this game, and I like this character. The gun's for self-defense. I'm looking for uh, that one rare bird. This character is actually named and modeled after someone who works for Konami. I think they work for Kojima Productions specifically. But there is an actual person out there named uh, Cecile Cosima Caminades, and she looks like how she does in this game, which is kind of interesting. Uh, well, we'll have to compare notes later. Uh, here, drink some of this. You saved me. They told me this was a paradise. That there were more rare birds here than anywhere else. That there was no war here. That it was safe. They told me it was every birder's dream. But they were wrong. What happened? If only I had not recorded that stupid voice. Voice? I was trying to capture the kettle song. Making my way through a thicket, I saw immense runes towering before me. I chase it away. It will bite you unless you kill it. Go home. You are the one who made the tape. I am loyal to myself. Who's there? I was captured by that woman. But she was kind. She gave me food to eat, and even bathed me herself, each day. But... She said I could go home in a month. So whatever you do, don't take off the blindfold. Do so, and you will never leave here. Hmm. Guess you didn't listen. How'd you escape? I waited for an opening. Stole an ID card. They almost caught me. But I managed to elude them. You made it this far and then succumbed to exhaustion. I was barefoot, with no supplies. And she's still not wearing pants. Oh, I am so sorry. I drink it all. That facility. Did you see anybody else in there? Well, there was another woman. But I never saw her in person. Because, you know, the blindfold. Oh, yes. She often sang. Sang? It was such a strange song. What kind of person was she? Could you tell anything from her voice? I don't know. I don't even know why I was held a prisoner. They confiscated my equipment, my supplies, my passport, money, everything. The only thing I was allowed to keep were my undergarments. So that I would not be able to escape. And now, 
I am without even the means to prove who I am. I would not make it home to Paris like this. In that case, come to our place. Huh? You don't need a passport there. Don't even need a name. If you want to go back to Paris, we'll take you there anytime. What I want is a shower, a change of clothes, and a cigarette. I've got a cigar. It's Cuban. No French cigarettes? I prefer unfiltered. Fresh out. But come back to my place, and you can have all the French cigarettes you want. It sounds like heaven. <laughs> Close, but not quite. Outer heaven. They're gonna kind of tease Outer Heaven a lot in this game. That's something that I noticed pretty much immediately. What's in there? Lots of machinery. A big computer, like you would see in the university. What about the room where you heard the voice? Anybody in there? I don't know. There was a tube. A large tube in the back. When I approached it, I heard a voice. What did it say? Jack. Yes, simply said Jack over and over. I can never Jack. tell if he's supposed to be sweating or crying Listen, here. You've got to get me out of here. I really need a shower. Wait here. I've still got business to take care of. What? You're not thinking of going in there, are you? You can't leave me here. Relax. I'll have some friends pick you up. This is Miller. One for recovery. A civilian. Snake, we don't have room for any more civilians here. Hmm, not even for a blonde Parisienne. A what? So she's a uh, pretty foxy? Uh, see for yourself. If what she's saying is true, I think we've found Paz's friend. The missing one? I'm thinking that she's the one that made that tape. Have her listen to it when she gets there. So she's safe then. Good news. I'm sure Paz will be glad to hear it. You bet. Snake, the ruins are just up ahead. Head north. On my way. What about me? Stay put. Ever wonder what it's like to be a bird? Huh? It literally is never gonna get old. Just seeing people get Fultoned in cutscenes, it's great. Including Huey, the cripple. Of course he gets Fultoned, why not? So anyway, we still got some more gameplay here. Gotta make our way through the ruins. Uh, this part isn't that hard. You just gotta remember where these people are. The part that's annoying about this, though, is that if you fail here, you have to start all the way at the beginning. And I don't mean, like, if you fail here, they just boot you back, like, if you get spotted. That's just something I like to do. I don't like to get caught in missions, so I'll start it over if I do. I think there's like three guys here and they're each kind of guarding their own little pathway. But eventually they should turn around and we should be able to get that guy on the right. And again, since we're using the sneaking suit, we can literally just run right past him. He'll never see it coming. Or hear it coming anyway. I believe there's one more guy that should be in our way. And we could either run past him with the sneaking suit or just take him out. It'll probably be easier to just sneak past him. But I think we're going to just head this way. Going toward the AI laboratory. Which is in some ruins, which looks pretty cool. Of course, things can never be just that easy now, could they? So now we gotta figure out what's going on with that keycard that Huey gave us. Snake? 
Huey, your ID card isn't working. It won't open the lock. <sighs> it can't be. What's going on? She hates me that much? <sighs> Strangelove's in charge of authorizing IDs. Sometimes a working card has its privileges removed. Say, if she decides she doesn't like that card's carrier. You think that's what happened? Well, I was never exactly her favorite. <sighs> well, this could be tricky. The soldiers outside aren't allowed in the lab either, so their cards won't do you any good. Great. Nick. Kaz, where's Cecile? She just got here. Hold on. Nick! Cecile, how'd it feel to fly? <sighs> Wonderful. For a moment, I felt what it must be like to be a bird. It almost made me I think so far she's the only one who was actually sort of happy to be Fulton, which is a neat change of pace. You said you'd gotten an ID card, From right? Chico being mad at us, and I don't but think Huey liked it either. The gods got me. Who took it? What did he look like? He had an orange jacket. <sighs> I cannot recall his face, though. Yeah, they all look pretty much the same. Where did it happen? Hmm. Let me think. Ah, yes! I do remember hearing the song of a nearby quetzal. <laughs> Just what I'd expect from a birder. Would you like to hear it? Huh? What's that song? It's my quetzal. I took it with me when I was rescued. Didn't you say something about them being covered under the Washington Convention? <laughs> just kidding. That was just me. An imitation. An essential skill for any ornithologist. Pretty good, no? Damn good. If you want to hear the Quetzal song again, just let me know. I can tell you all about the birds of Costa Rica, too. Yeah, will do. Thanks, Cecile. No, no. Thank you, Snake. Talk to you soon. Kaz, did you play that tape for Cecile? I sure did. It's hers, all right. Then she must be. She's not. Cecile says she's never even met Paz. What? She's at least ten years too old. But... I'm guessing Paz convinced herself that it was the tape her friend made. But never mind that. Let's go over what we know so far. The soldier with the ID card is wearing an orange jacket and is in a location where you'll hear Quetzal singing. Find that soldier, retrieve that card. And just like Amanda, despite not actually appearing in the game, she's a character model. I don't know. 